Good morning, my name is Pablo Aguilo. Uh, I am from Argentina and we are here in uh, Buenos Aires State in Las Flores. We just decided uh, to start uh, a new project called Making Changes, what is a conservationist program uh, for different species in Argentina. Today we are here to let you know about uh, ducks in Argentina, ducks in Buenos Aires States, and we would like to introduce you our friend Juan, who is a biologist from the CONICET, that is an institution in Argentina, and who we had invited to join us uh, and talking together with us about first steps to do conservationism, specifically on the ducks. We are thinking about not something just for today, we are thinking about a long-term project where we can understand a little better what's the situation on the wildlife of the ducks in Argentina. So if you let me do it, I would like to introduce you to Juan. Juan, nice to meet you. My name is Pablo Aguiló. Uh, remind me, your last name is Juan? Juan Secopon. Nice Juan Secopon. Let us know a little bit about your background. Uh, we know you're a biologist. Let us know in short lines uh, about your background. Well, first of all, thank you. Uh, I've been an ornithologist for the past 20 years. I have a PhD in marine biology, though I study seabirds most of my part of my life. For the past 20 years, I've been studying uh, several features of birds. And in the last three or four years, I've been dedicating uh, more, most of my efforts to study waterfall which include ducks. in between uh, the people working together with us here and ourselves is we do not know that much and we got we want to know more about the behavior of the birds and what affect the birds what kind of um, food they got how they nest when they do it uh, so talking with Juan he he brought uh, a kind of lighting to things that we were not thinking about it and what we want to know is uh, how these birds reproduce, what's the number of birds, and how these birds can be affected if there is a commercial thing or a hunting program around this wildlife. So we got information to make smart decisions for the future. We're thinking 20 years in front. Uh, in this company, we, most of us have families and kids, and we want to be sure that in 20 years, we are not going to complain about what we did, because we took decisions thinking in the whole picture. So I really want to thank you. We haven't met before, but it was very nice talking with you on the phone. And I'm very excited on the day today. So if you want to tell us, not to get people bored, what we should do today, like a first start, starting to go to the lagoons, uh, get the waders and check what, what, what should we do? What are your expectations? What we should find? Well, according to the timings, uh, these birds should be starting to nest, so it would be fun and interesting uh, both um, to check up on uh, the activity of these nests, if these birds are starting to reproduce. Uh, that means that we need to put on the waders and get a little bit of water, but it's, it's going to be fun. And to check up on where these birds are nesting, which is um, the concentration of these birds, if, they bird, if these birds breed in, in good numbers or if they breed apart. So getting knowledge about uh, the numbers of eggs and how many of these eggs turns into chicks, it would be a first good step for us to understand the breeding uh, cycle and output of these birds here in Buenos Aires province.
and of course the other thing is very important we got good friends and uh, very strong uh, non-profits in America like Delta Waterfall, DU, CCA, different kind of organizations that have been working on conservation for so many years and we are so pleased to know that we got one that is a very smart, sharp, serious person that speaks fluid English to be running this project and helping us to make this project happen. So I would like to thank you and for a great day together.